adolescence is so great for them, particularly for somebody like these dictators, because it's neither here nor there. They're enough, in those years, you're enough of who you are so that you can, you have root, you have roots and you have tendencies and you have an ability to become who you're going to be, but nobody is formed when they're 14, 15, 16, 19. Um, when I read about these people as adults, I mean, most of what's written about them is as adults. They actually are not that interesting to me. They're very calcified. They really believe what they believe. Um, they've made most of their key decisions and um, kind of awful people even though they have free will and they could they don't have to be those people at any given moment but when they were teenagers they were they didn't have any power they didn't have their ideas fully formulated and yet they were still showing tendencies towards them so they're in the moments of transition and crisis and you can really see them on that arc on that journey to becoming the people they became uh, without them necessarily being those people he musters up the courage to turn and regard his new wife in his youth and inexperience he sees landscape the rolling field of a recumbent belly breasts looming like forbidden mountains farther beyond that range woman lose dark eyes lie open like two gaping mine shafts plundered and glassy staring at the ceiling she does not acknowledge his glance although she must be aware of it she is waiting for him but still somehow dead to the world Waiting for me, thinks Tsi Tung, that body so easy to touch, so easy to reach out my hand and feel that rough cotton, unfasten the buttons on her dress, pull it apart and see what's beneath, smooth skin, lift her leg and peel the shoe, touch the turned-in foot, right there, yours, climb on top of her and press her arms into the mattress and push yourself deep inside her, you must act like a man, you are her husband. All the, all the um, plots and circumstances were drawn from their biographies. In some cases, they were suggested by little events that were recorded in biographies, but not elaborated on. In others, they're just suggested. Um, but they're, they are all historically based, and then I did wide research around the times and circumstances. So for example, the story about Mao Zedong that I wrote is um, about Mao's first marriage. He was married to a woman when he was 14 and she was 20 and nobody really knows what happened but there are a few indications that the marriage was a disaster he left home soon after she died soon after that and there are other indications from later on in his life that he had a very very negative feeling about arranged marriage which that was and a lot of anger towards his family and there's speculation about what happened in that marriage and what it might have meant to him and so there's little there are little things that are indicated by his biography so I took that incident and just blew it up into a story and I also used a lot of Mao's later writings and insight into his character later to try to figure out what kinds of conflicts he was facing, what was going on, what were his desires and contradictions and all sorts of forces in him, and then tried to embody that. They didn't know who they were going to be. So I set all of the stories in the present tense. I didn't want to do like a past tense, we know where these people are going to be and so let's look back from our, because you know, all these people, when they were 14, 15, 16 years old, they had no idea. They were just living in the present like anybody else. And um, in many cases, they weren't, in, they weren't interested in politics yet, or they, um, they were, but they didn't realize it or didn't know how it was going to go. I really wanted to emphasize that sense of possibility, that sense of um, free will, and that also to show how the conflicts that they had, which were so real, um, could have gone in any number of different ways. Like Hitler, for example, his conflicts were coming out in his artistic life and career, and his delusions, his grandiosity, his self-involvement, all these things that, when translated into the political environment, was so disastrous for the world, they were acting on him personally and artistically when he was 16. They were the same conflicts, the same problems, but channeled so more so different. And there was no way of him knowing that it was going to go to where it went. Um, so I really wanted to emphasize that sense of open possibility.